Good afternoon. Um, it's my pleasure to join you today for the release of the State Department's annual report on international religious freedom. Every year, the State Department prepares a comprehensive review of the status of religious freedom in countries and territories around the world. We do this because we believe that religious freedom is both a fundamental human right and an essential element to any stable, peaceful, thriving society. This is not only the American view, it is the view of nations and people around the world. It is uh, enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It is protected by the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. And it is guaranteed by the laws and constitutions of many nations, including our own, where religious freedom is the first freedom listed in our Bill of Rights. Because we believe in religious freedom and because we are committed to the right of all people everywhere to live according to their beliefs without government interference and with government protection, we are troubled by what we see happening in many, many places. This report reflects a broad understanding of religious freedom, one that begins with private beliefs and communal religious expression, but doesn't end there. Religious freedom also includes the right to raise one's children in one's faith, to share one's faith peacefully with others, to publish religious materials without censorship, to change one's religion by choice, not coercion, and to practice no religion at all. And it includes the rights of faith communities to come together in social service and public engagement in the broader society. 